Hi, welcome back to this tutorial series. And if you remember from the last video, this is what we had. We um, applied the grid system to our template and we had the main content take up eight of the screen and the sidebar take up for um, four over 12 of the screen. Okay, so in this video, we're going to be styling this part here, this list of blog posts. Okay, so back in our editor, um, let's open up our index.html and these are the classes we're going to be targeting for the list of blog posts so the first one we're going to target is the title we want to give this title here uh, a bottom margin of uh, let's say about 16 pixels but before we do that we need to add some resets to our CSS so um, let's just say body Let's give it a font size of 16 pixels. That's usually so that it's um, compatible across browsers so that different browsers will not um, give it their own font size based on what the user has said. Okay. So next, let's create a section here called main content. Okay. And inside there, we want to style the blog post title. So we'll say blog post title, and we'll give it a margin bottom of 16 pixels. Okay, so let's look back here. As you can see, the margin has been applied. Next, we want to style the open link. So we'll say blog open link. Uh, what are the styles we want to give it to? We want to give it a style of display inline block. I want to give it a border radius. Of, um, let's say, 17 pixels. Yep, that should be fine. And we want to give it a border, that is the line around it, of one pixel solid um, I did get this color so bear with me for f4 e 4 e that's sort of like a really dark gray I will give a padding top and bottom of 5 pixels left and right of 10 pixels okay so let's have a look at what we have as you can see when I refresh this what we have okay so but we wonder when we hover over it its color changes and it becomes bold so it color changes to something like um, some sort of green and same for the title as well so we'll copy this come to the bottom here hover and we'll do the same for the title since the title doesn't have a border around it the border will not be applied only applied to the blog open link so when we hover over the title and the open link, we want them both to be bold and we want their color to be hash 58C93A, which is some sort of green. Um, we want the border color to be um, the same. So it's the same green. So yeah, so there we have it. So let's have a look at that. You can see when I hover over this, um, apparently it's not happening for the title. So let's see what we have. So apparently I missed the hover here. Okay, let's do this. Refresh. Still nothing happening. Hmm, that's interesting. Blog post title. Okay, should have been applied to the A tag, A of the blog post title, not that post title itself because it's a header and it's inside of an a a tag as you can see it's how it's applying to it so now let's style um, the rest of the post so we also want to give margins to the excerpt here and the um, continue reading link as well okay so let's do those here so let's just add them at the top let's say um, blog excerpt and we'll say blog open link margin bottom of 16 pixels okay next we also want to give it to 
the blog post so I'll just show you quickly um, since we're giving 16 pixels to all of these things here um, apparently I don't think it applied to the excerpt so let's just have a look at the Chrome inspector here quickly so the excerpt I might have spelled it wrong okay oh blog post excerpt mm. CSS it's the single wrongness and then you're in the dark okay so since we're giving everything 16 pixels in start in terms of um, margin bottom the whole blog post itself this single blog post we're gonna give it double that so it looks aesthetically pleasing so we'll see what I mean in a moment so instead of saying blog posts um, 16 pixels we'll say blog post um, margin bottom 32 pixels okay so let's have a look at that as you can see it looks much nicer and we're getting there uh, just be fair with me um, we're still not there yet okay and um, also the main content we want to give it a margin top and bottom of 32 pixels so it's a main content margin top 32 pixels margin bottom 32 pixels and I'll show you why we have done that okay and you yeah as you can see we want to separate it from the header so it has a bit of space and also any possible footer and the reason I didn't use the shorthand um, is that we want to give the left and right an auto margin and we'll do that shortly as well so we'll create another section um, called utilities and in there we'll do stuff like float left float right okay so for now let's just create something called um, wrapper basically what the wrapper does is it just centers uh, content okay so we'll say um, margin left auto do the same margin right auto and we'll just say wrapper uh, yeah I think that's about it that should be fine so we want to apply the wrapper to the main content so let's have a look at the main content here we want to say wrapper and what that will do is it will just take this main content and just shift it to the middle of the page here so let's refresh and see if that's what happened and apparently not so let's see hmm. why didn't that happen okay we should have applied the wrapper to this element here Okay, this one is grid 8, so we'll just take that, shift that up here. Okay, I expected this to happen. So, if you notice that um, the wrapper's margin right for auto has is being overridden by the grid system's margin right. And um, that's expected because it has a higher precedence. This is up and being targeted by one class and this is being targeted by many classes, the column and the grid A. Okay, so what we want to do is actually override that. So we'll use margin right and we'll use the um, important um, bang sign, uh, important. Okay, so let's refresh and see what we have. So still that um, works, that overrides the grid systems, but um, there is this float left as well which if we remove it everything will go to the middle as you can see but um, we want to override that as well so we'll say float none okay I refresh this page um, yeah that's being overridden as well so we'll put the important sign there let's try that once more yeah as you can see it works now so even when we refresh um, resize the browser here as you can see it works as expected okay so one thing we want to give a margin bottom as well to is the blog post image so we'll go ahead and do that as well 
So blog post image margin bottom is um, 16 pixels. Go back here, and as you can see, everything works out fine. And these um, for the links as well, these underlines we want to remove those. So we'll just go to here, which is our normalization, and we'll say text um, decoration none. And let's refresh that. And we want that the links to have um, actually the body to have a color of that really dark brownish for the block link here. So we'll give it this color. Uh, when we refresh everything should look much better now okay and uh, let's apply the same to the links as well let's say color yep so that works out fine so in the next video we're going to add a font which will make this look nicer it's called lota if i remember i took it from google fonts but um, i'll show you how to get that and add it to your project so that's it guys for this video, thanks for watching, I will see you soon, cheers, bye bye.